Hey yogis, it's Kim. Welcome to our week one of Countdown to the New Year flow. So this is our burn flow, burning the old. We're going to start in standing up at the top of your mat. So ground down through the feet here. They can be parallel and touching or they can be roughly parallel and under the hips. Lift through all of the toes, spread the toes, engage the arches, zipper the inner legs together. Even if they're not touching, let the energy magnetize towards each other, gather through the low belly. Palms by the sides, sorry, hands by the sides, palms forward, let the shoulders release, set the toes down if you haven't, but keep that engagement. Utkatasana. Bend the knees, hinge from the hips, sweep the arms forward here to start. Gather through that deep low belly, knit the ribs in, lengthen the tailbone down here. Forward fold, spill over the thighs, bend the knees, let the head hang, pedal out the legs one at a time. So bend the right knee nice and deep, then bend the left knee nice and deeply. Find your breath here into the back body. Let that weight be even in the feet. Bend whichever knee you're on and hold it. Breathing space through the leg that's working towards straight. Shift the hips a little more centered. And then the other side, bend the opposite knee. Breathing into the leg that's working towards straight. Even out the weight in the feet. Maybe shift the hips a little bit more towards center. And then even out the legs, inhale halfway up, flat back. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step the right foot back here, lower the knee. Straighten the left leg. Lift the toes up. Float the hands up to prayer. Bend the left knee, right hand to the earth. Lift the left arm up. Find a nice little twist. Pause here, ground down through the right hand. Reach up through the left fingers. Level out the hips, hollow out the low belly, baby, you gaze up. Now and from here, pluck the torso up, keep the arms wide, and then bring this left hand to the back of the right thigh. Reach the right arm up, open through that side body. Gaze can be down, it can be forward, it can be up at the hand. And now we're going to cut this twist a little bit deeper. So right elbow to the outside of the left thigh, hands to prayer. Level out the hips, hollow out the low belly. Gently press the thigh into the arm and vice versa. Gaze could be forward, up or down again. Unfurl from here. Shift the weight into the left foot, Ukatasana. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms forward. Gather the legs. Gather the pelvic floor. Gather the low belly. Lengthen the tailbone. Start to reach the arms a little bit higher here. Have the palms face each other. Maybe even rotate the pinkies in. Exhale forward. Full ground through the feet. Inhale flat back. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step the left foot back here. Lower the knee. Straighten the right leg. Lift the toes. Pull them towards you. Hands at prayer here. Get long. Bend the right knee. Left hand to the earth. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Ground down to the left hand. Get long in that shoulder, by which I mean don't collapse into it. Reach up through the right fingers. And then Pull this right hip back in space, level out the hips, hollow out the deep low belly. Find some strength in the legs here. Keep the shape of the arms, pluck the torso up. When you get upright, regather the hips and then start to bow back. Right hand reaches towards the back of the left thigh as that left arm reaches up. Gaze can be forward, down, or up. Breathe space into the side body. 
and then lifting back up out of this left elbow to the outside of the right thigh hands to prayer here gently press that right thigh into the left elbow and vice versa level out the hips gently encourage the palms to face to press into each other so we wring out the spine a little bit more unfurl from here utkatasana shift the way forward step left leg up to knee the right nice deep bend in the knees lengthen the low back knit the ribs in exhale forward fold inhale flat back exhale hands to the earth step step back high plank strong in the hands here strong in the fingertips shoulders over the wrists Gather through the low belly here, knit the ribs in, get strong in the thighs, reach back through the heels. Good. Knees come down, chest, chin comes down, tush is high. Baby cobra, belly on the earth, tops of the feet on the earth, roll the shoulders down and back. And then lower the torso back down, the head back down, tuck the toes, tuck the pelvis, press your way back up to high plank and then press up and back to downward facing dog take just a moment here if you would like to pedal out the legs or take some movement through the shoulders find your breath reset your dog wrap the elbows inhale right leg lifts exhale right thigh into chest cheetah pose round high plank knee towards nose open through the back of the heart inhale three-legged dog again cheetah round for knee towards nose make that space inhale three-legged dog use cheetah to get to low lunge pull forward push the earth away step the right foot between the hands here gather the hips square float the torso up high lunge upright twist left arm forward right arm back zipper the thighs and then offer it back right fingers reach down left arm up and then low close twist left elbow to the outside of the right thigh hands to prayer you can adjust the spacing of the feet as you need you can lower the back feet if you would like ringing out through the spine here gaze to the earth keep the twist with control step the left foot up to meet the right taking a twist into your chair pose bending the knees gather the hips behind the knees and then utkatasana unfurl sweep the arms up from here come to standing we're going to take eagle pose with the right leg over the left so lift the right leg up cross it over here and then the right arm under the left forearms wrap palms together lengthen the tailbone down these right toes can float in space they can tuck behind the thigh they can come to the earth like a little tp stand sinking a little bit deeper into this warrior three unfurl option to keep your eagle arms option to lose them right leg reaches behind you hollow out through the low belly warrior one right foot to the earth unfurl the arms lift the torso adjust the feet a little wider if you need deep bend in the left knee square the hips float the arms overhead pyramid pose straighten the left leg hands come to to the hips and we'll hinge forward from here re-lengthen through the spine and then re-hinge ground through the ball of the left big toe here keep pulling this left hip back in space working towards leveling out from here you're going to take the right hand either to a block which is always a nice prop to have handy or to the shin or maybe to the earth by the shin I mean the left shin left hand's gonna come to the sacrum here letting yourself stay nice and even you're gonna get long knit the ribs and haul out the low belly and then try to twist very specifically from the spine by which I mean not from the hips good lengthening through the crown of the head getting strong through the right leg 
unfurl from here hands to the earth high plank step the right foot back step the left foot back to meet it now we're going to keep the toes tucked this time we're going to go into our upward facing dog lower the hips roll the shoulders down and back now think about that belly button that deep core you're going to start from that place and press to high plank. So belly button lifts up, push to high plank, open through the back of the heart. Again, lower the hips, roll the shoulders down and back. Start from the belly button, lift and push. High plank, lower, upward facing dog, retract shoulders, start from the belly button, lift. High plank, again, upward facing dog, keep going. High plank, upward facing dog, link it with the breath. High plank, Upward facing dog, two more. High plank, upward facing dog. Let the core and the breath do the work. High plank, upward facing dog. Good, pause here, really retract shoulders. Untuck the toes, maybe open the heart a little bit more. Downward facing dog, pressing your way up and back, taking a breath. <sighs> Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, cheetah, thigh to the chest. Round your way forward, open back of the heart, knee towards nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, cheetah, pull round for knee towards nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, cheetah, pull round forward. Make the space, low lunge, left foot between the hands, adjust as you need. Level the hips, float the torso up. High lunge from here. Gather the hips, square upright twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Refind your alignment. And then offer it back. Left hand reaches back, right arm reaches up. Breathe space into the side body. Bring it back upright. Close twist, right elbow to the outside of the thigh. Adjust the feet spacing if you need. Lower the back knee if you need. Hands might go to prayer. Hollow out low belly. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Encourage that left knee to press to the left. Gaze at the earth, shift the weight forward. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Keep a bend in the knees. Nice twist here. Utkatasana, chair pose. Unfurl, find your way there. Lengthen the low back. Lift up through standing. Shift the weight into the right foot. Cross the left leg over and then the left arm under. Zipper up as tightly as your body will allow. Reach the fingers up, reach the elbows forward, lengthen the tailbone down. Breathe into the back of the heart. Warrior three. Option to keep your eagle arms. So uncross the left leg, send it behind you with all those left toes facing the earth. We're working towards squaring the hips. You can bend the standing leg if you need. Good. Warrior one. Left foot to the earth. Unfurl the arms, lift the torso. Maybe you heel toe this right foot out some. Bend the right knee, square the hips. Gather through the deep low belly. Float the arms upward from here. Straighten the right leg, hands to the hips. Hinge forward, pyramid pose. Ground through the ball, the right big toe. Pull the right hip back in space. Lengthen through the spine. Breathe into that hamstring. Breathe into that hip joint. Find power in the back leg. And then bring the back parallel to the earth is fine, I should say. Left hand might go on a block or the earth. Left hand might go on the right shin. Right hand to the low back. Lengthen forward through the crown of the head. Level out through the hips. Twist from the spine over towards the right. Really ringing out. Breathing into that IT band, into the sideways, into the spine, into the shoulders. And then untwist, hands to the earth. We will do 
four of those moves. High plank to upward facing, moving from the core and moving with the breath. So keep the toes tucked, strong fingers, lowering down. Exhale, belly button lifts you to high plank. Inhale, lower. Exhale, belly button lifts high plank. Inhale, lower. Exhale, belly button lifts high plank. Last one, inhale, lower. Exhale, belly button lifts high plank. Hold this one. And then downward facing dog. Good. We will move quickly one breath per movement. We are simply trying to burn through things, burn through energy, burn through movements, burn through being stuck. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge, right foot between the hands, find the spacing. Inhale, lift the torso. Exhale, upright twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Offer it back, right fingers come down, left hand comes up. Close twist, left elbow to the outside of the thigh. Hands at prayer, revolve. Gaze at the earth, keep the hands at prayer, shift the weight forward, come up on the left toes, maybe this left leg floats its way up. Revolve chair pose, left next to right, ringing out. Chair pose, unfurl, utkatasana. Eagle right leg over, right arm under. Twisting up as tightly as your body allows while lengthening the tailbone. Option to hinge from the hips and bring the knees, sorry, the elbows towards the knees. Breathing into the whole back body here. Warrior three, shoot this right foot behind you. Be strong. Warrior one, right foot back, adjust the feet, lift the torso, release the eagle arms, straighten the left leg, bow down, pyramid pose. And then find your twist. Flat back parallel to the earth, right hand probably to the shin, left hand to the low back, level out through the hips. Maybe this time that left arm wants to flow up. Maybe you want to look at the earth and bring the right hand to the earth and float the right leg up. Two feet to the earth behind you, right foot, left foot. Two of our moves, high plank, upward facing, lift from the belly button, high plank, upward facing, lift from the belly button, high plank, downward facing dog. Keep moving, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. And then twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. Offer it back, lift the right arm up. Close twist, elbow to the outside of the thigh. Find a moment, hands at prayer. Strong legs. Gaze to the earth, come up high on the back toes. Shift the weight forward. Maybe the right foot comes in a little bit closer. Maybe it floats its way up off of the earth. Revolve chair pose. Right foot next to left, find the twist here with bent knees. Chair pose, keep the knees bent, untwist. Eagle pose, left leg over, left arm under, bend in the knees, hinge in the hips, lengthen the tailbone. Maybe you take it a little deeper. By deeper, I mean this is a more length required in the back body and more compression, elbows towards knees. Warrior three, with eagle arms, shoot that left leg back with control, level through the hips. Warrior one, we want that nice big spacing in the feet. So read us as you need, square the hips, float the arms, straighten the right leg, bow down, pyramid pose, level through the hips, take a breath. Flat back parallel to the earth, left hand probably to the shin, maybe somewhere else, right hand maybe to the sacrum for your twist. Maybe the right arm reaches up to the sky. Maybe you gaze down, shift the weight forward. Find the left hand on the earth and the left leg lifts, kind of like a warrior three with the twist. Maybe that right arm is still lifted. High plank. 
step left foot back, step right foot back, two of our movements, high plank, lower down, upward facing from the belly button, high plank, lower down, upward facing, last time through the whole thing, high plank, downward dog, quickly with your fiery breath, right leg lifts, exhale, low lunge, inhale, high lunge, upright twist to the right, offer it back, Cut the twist, left elbow to the outside of the thigh. With control, revolve Utkatasana. Shift the weight forward. Float this left leg to meet the right. Find your twist. From here, Utkatasana, unfurl. Eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Maybe once we find our balance, we hinge from the hips and we go a little lower, eagle in the nest. Warrior three, right leg comes back. We're gonna go straight into our twist. So from here, right hand to the earth or a block, left hand to the sacrum or the sky, twist over towards the left. Hollow out the low belly. Good. High plank, step, step back. Two of our movements, high plank, lower, upward facing from the belly button. High plank, lower, upward facing from the belly button. High plank, downward facing, keep moving. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, lift the torso, find the legs. Upright twist to the left, offer it back. From here, close twist, right elbow to the outside of the thigh. Take a moment to find it. Gaze down with control. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Revolve chair pose. Find a moment. Chair pose, unfurl. Eagle pose, left leg over, left arm under. Option. Eagle in the nest, more compression, elbow towards knees. Warrior three, keep the eagle arms. Shoot that left leg back with control. Find the power in the legs as well as the deep core. Twist, left hand to the earth, right hand to the sacrum. Find your twist, high plank. Hands to the earth, step, step back, two, inhale, upward facing from the belly button, exhale, high plank, inhale, upward facing, exhale, high plank, downward facing dog, take a breath, take another one, let the head go. Lower your knees down to the earth here. Bring the hands to the thighs. Close your eyes. Become aware of the heat you've built. Become aware of the fire you've created. Sphinx pose, just a little bit of counter work. So forearms on the earth, step, step back, hip points on the earth, tops of the feet on the earth. So the feet can be together or they can be a little wide. I like them a little wide. Ground down into the forearms, isometrically drag them towards you. So the shoulder blades roll back, the shoulders roll back, the shoulder blades retract, lift up through the heart. We're going to take three rounds of lion's breath here. So it's going to be on the exhale. We're going to actually stick out our tongue and make a really audible noise like your roar noise. So it looks a little silly, but we get to all look silly together. So first, just a regular breath. Inhale fully. Exhale. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tongue out. Inhale. Exhale, tongue out. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, tongue out. 
Lovely. Make a little pillow out of the hands. Bring the forehead down onto them. Breathing here. I'll close us here in this prone variation of Shavasana. You can stay here as long as you need. Letting yourself sit with your own heat, your own fire, your own burn. Allowing yourself to find a comfort in cleansing and in letting go. Thank you all so much for joining today. Peace for the body, peace for the mind, and peace for the spirit. <laughs>